Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says solve for X and we're given X to the fifth plus X to the fifth plus X to the fifth equals three to the 11th. This is day 14 of our algebra February calendar. For the month of February, we're gonna solve 28 algebra problems. It looks like there's some pretty cool ones on here. And if you wanna try this one, pause it right now because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. On the left-hand side, we have three X to the fifths. We can write that as three X to the fifth. And then we can divide both sides of the equation by three. On the left-hand side, these threes are gonna cancel each other out, so we have x to the fifth. And on the right-hand side, we can change this three into three to the first power. And anytime you have a power divided by a power and the bases match, you can subtract the exponents. So this becomes three to the 11 minus one. And 11 minus one is equal to 10. So we have x to the fifth is equal to three to the 10th. Now to get the x by itself, we can do both sides to the exponent of one fifth. On the left-hand side, we can multiply these exponents, so it's x to the five times one-fifth. And five times one-fifth is equal to one, which leaves us with x. And then on the right-hand side, we can also multiply the exponents. And 10 times one-fifth is equal to two. Now we have x is equal to three squared, and three squared is equal to nine. x equals nine is the real answer to our question. Let's put a box around it. But there's a little bit more we can do. Three to the 10th is equal to 59,049. So we're trying to find all the solutions of x to the fifth equals 59,049. Since the exponent is a five, there are gonna be five solutions for x. And so far we found one of them, x equals nine. But there are four other solutions. These other ones are gonna be complex solutions. They're gonna be in the form a plus bi, where i is the imaginary number. And all four of these will be in that format. They'll all be some real portion plus some imaginary portion. But how do we find these other values? You can use De Moivre's theorem, which uses polar numbers, and that's kind of fun. We could do that in a different video. But for this video, I'll show you a way to find them. It starts with a number line where this is zero, and our first solution is gonna be located at nine. Now this number line represents all the real numbers. To get the imaginary numbers, we can introduce a vertical line, and it can have the same scale. These are all the real numbers, and these are all the imaginary numbers. So we can plot a point right there. This plotted point is located at three, four, or we can write it as a number, three plus four i. This is in the a plus bi form we talked about earlier. So our other four solutions are not gonna be on this real number line. They're gonna be located somewhere in this complex plane. A quick way to find the other solutions is draw a circle with radius nine. And then since there are five answers, let's inscribe a regular pentagon. These intersections of the pentagon and the circle happen to be the solutions to the question. This one's located at nine zero. That's the same thing as our x equals nine. That's the first solution we got. Now for this one, this is gonna be at an angle of 72 degrees. We got that by doing 360 divided by five. Since this is at 72 degrees, we can use some trigonometry. Nine times cosine 72 gives us the X value and nine sine 72 gives us our Y value. And if people want, I can make a video explaining this as well. It's kind of a fun concept. And then the next one's located at 144 degrees. So this would be nine cosine 144 comma nine sine 144. And the next one will be located at 216 degrees. So it'd be nine cosine 216, nine sine 216. And then the last one's gonna be at 288 degrees. So it'll be nine cosine 288, comma nine sine 288. It is possible to get exact values for these. That almost could be another video too. But we'll just do decimal approximations for this video. Nine cosine 72, if you plug it into a calculator, is about 2.78. And nine sine 72 is about 8.56. As a high level check, that seems right. And we can plug the rest of these in the calculator and we get these values for X and Y. So these are all just points. If we wanna write them as numbers, the X is the real portion and the Y is the imaginary portion. So this nine comma zero would be nine plus zero I or 2.78 comma 8.56 would be 2.78 plus 8.56 I. And it's the same thing for the rest of these. The X is the real portion and the Y is the imaginary portion. These are the five solutions to our question. These four are really close approximations, but we can get the exact values. Before we finish, let's check this one real fast. Ultimately, we wanna show that this minus this to the fifth power equals 59,049. One thing we could do is literally multiply it out five times, but nobody has time to do that. So we're gonna do it a different way. We're gonna use the formula for binomial expansion. If we take our 2.78 minus 8.56 i to the fifth, and expand it using this formula. I'm not gonna make you guys go through all the work, but I did it all. This expanded is these six terms added together. And it works out that all the imaginary portions subtract each other away. 
And then all the real portions are gonna add up to give us 59,049. So this one checks out and they're all gonna check out. These are the five solutions to this problem. Let's put a box around it. How exciting. And here's tomorrow's question. 27 over eight to the X power equals 32 over 243. This looks like a fun one. How exciting.